let's solve some equations using logarithms. <clears throat> so we're gonna work through a few problems here. These are the easier of this type, um, but let's walk through the steps. So basically as you get going on these, you'll notice that we can't rewrite both sides with the exact same base. So we're limited on that. Instead, what we wanna do is isolate this exponential part, whatever has the exponent attached to it, let's get that on one side by itself. So in this first example, you'll notice that we have that two hanging out in front. Let's move that to the other side. So I'm gonna divide both sides by two, thus isolating the exponential part. So 10 raised to the nine A is equal to, and this isn't gonna simplify down nicely. So it's gonna be 29 over two. All right, next up, what we wanna do is, we can't rewrite this obviously as 10 raised to a power on the right side. So let's get a logarithm involved. If we get a logarithm involved, we are allowed all the rules and properties that go with logarithms. So being that our base is 10 here, I'm gonna use the common log on both sides. And that 9a is still attached up in the exponent. So I'm applying a common log to both sides. This is allowable based, the, based on logarithm, logarithmic functions being one, one to one. So we're allowed to do that. Now we could move this exponent down in front, but in this case, being that we used a common log, a log base 10, even though it's not identified, that's understood. And we have a base 10 in here. These are inverses. We have an exponential function with base 10 and a logarithmic function with base 10 as well. So we're gonna get very nice canceling out on this side and just be left with our exponent 9a. Bringing the right hand side down, we have log of 29 over two. Now we just need to solve for a, so we need to get rid of that nine. We're gonna divide both sides by nine. That'll put a on the left hand side all by itself. And then as these cancel out, and then on the right hand side, this is an exact solution. Just to be very clear, this is an exact solution for a. We could put this in our calculator. And whenever you apply a log to both sides, you kind of want to pick this strategically so you can eventually put it in your calculator. We tend to use either the common log or the natural log, depending on the situation. All right, but when we put this in our calculator, we can get an approximation 0 0.129, I believe is a good approximation for this. All right, let's move over to one that has E as the base. So a very similar problem in this situation that what we want to do is isolate the e raised to the power first. So to do that, let's divide both sides by two. This will use e raised to the six x equals 13 halves. Okay, with e as our base, and you'll get used to this, we want to apply a natural log to both sides. So the natural log means log base e. So what's gonna happen on the left-hand side is this is log base e, and we have e to a power. These are inverse functions of one another, so you get that very nice canceling out again. We get six x equals the natural log of 13 over two. Again, to get x by itself, or get our variable by itself, we need to get rid of that constant that's being multiplied. So that'll put x on one side by itself. This is an exact solution but this is also one of those functions that we can utilize our calculator for and get an approximation. I got this to be 0 0.311967 as an approximation versus the exact solution. Okay, a couple more of these real quickly. <clears throat> this one has a little bit more going on, but we wanna solve this equation. Four multiplied by e raised to the two x plus five equals 12. Remember our first goal is isolate the e raised to the power. So we wanna get rid of the four and the five. We should definitely get rid of the five first by subtracting it, subtracting it to the other side. So we have four e raised to the two x equals 12 minus five makes seven. <clears throat> then getting e to the power all by itself, we need to get rid of the four next. So we'll divide both sides by four. So e to the two x equals seven fourths. At this point, we're going to want to apply a logarithm to both sides. Again, with e in our base here, we're gonna utilize a natural log for both sides. And you'll get used to this, that whenever you have e as the base, you wanna use a natural log because we're gonna get really nice canceling out on the left-hand side as this one's written. So we'll have two x equals natural log of seven fourths. 
and to get x all by itself, we'll divide both sides by two. That puts x on one side all by itself. This is an exact solution, but we could get an approximate solution by using our calculator, 0 0.2798. All right, one more kind of special situation that comes up in this. We have trying to solve down an exponential equation. We have three raised to a power equals negative two. Now, this isn't one of our special bases, base 10 or base E. So we can use whatever log we want. We tend to want to use either the common log or the natural log because those are the two that we tend to be allowed our calculator for. So I'm going to use the common log. So we apply a common log to both sides. We could do a little bit of work and solve this down. However, on the right hand side, I noticed that we have a negative number being plugged into a logarithmic function. We're not allowed to plug in negative numbers into logarithms, right? This, remember the domain of logarithms is only positive values. So this is going to be a problem. And if we notice that early on, we can stop right there and say, nope, this isn't gonna work. This is no solution. All right, we will work a few um, additional problems, the more difficult ones, where we don't start with a base that is either 10 or E. Um, and we'll show you ones that actually do have solutions when it's not a negative on the other side. All right, I hope this helps out as you're getting used to using logarithms to solve down exponential equations. Good luck.